Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my bi-weekly makeup drawer part five. Now in February, I'm thinking about turning this into a monthly makeup drawer just because I started my pan that palette, the one month one palette and my project 60 pan. So I might turn this into a monthly makeup drawer. I don't know yet, but if I do, I'll let you know in the beginning of February. We're gonna start off with the non-makeup items and the first one is the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple. I have been using this, but not every day, just, you know, every so often. So this is gonna go up for right now. And also the another thing I'm gonna be putting up for right now is the Body Shop Argan Oil Body Butter. I honestly have not used this since the last update at all, just because I have been focusing on this one right here. And this is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief from Bath & Body Works. And I don't know if you can tell, I've put markings on it so it, it was like right there and now I'm right here. I actually want to use all this up. So this is going to stay in until I use it up just because I don't like the after smell of this. Um, so I think it's getting bad. And also the oils are separating from the lotion so I have to shake it up in order to mix them up and then I use it. So... I'm going to be using this up and then I also have another one that's like this it's the um, for sleep I think that I'm going to be using up just because I bought them at the same time and I don't want them to go bad so yeah so after this one's done I'm going to get that one and use that one up I'm going to be adding in because I want to do like a one of my fuller size items for my um, like body sprays or perfumes and then another month I want to do like samples so I have three samples this one is Live Joyously, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Damask Rose Harvey Prince, and the Simple Pink by Pure Sugar. So I want to, to use these up, and once I use these up, I'll add in like a full size to use for a month. Okay, and on to the eyes and lips. The things that I'm going to be throwing away is this right here. This is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. I finished... Well, I finished that off, so that will be going in the garbage. And then, um, this is the Avon Always On Point Eyeliner. This was an older product of mine, but I just started using this two to three weeks ago. But it's already done, just because it is a self-sharpening um, eyeliner. And every time I would use it and like it would self-sharpen, it would break off by the time I would use it next. So I'd have to resharpen it. So for that reason, it's all going now. And I'm throwing that away. And the things that I'm going to be taking out of my makeup drawer is the Chapstick Candy Cane. I used this for a month and I really like it. But I'm going to grab for another one just because I have so many that I need to use. The eye primers. The Smashbox 24 Eye Primer. And the MAC Paint Pot. And I'll show you how much I've used of this. I don't even know if you can be able to see it, but this is probably like my favorite, one of my favorite eye primers. So these are going to go up. I'm going to be taking out the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick or Liquid Lipstick in Lax. I like the color. I really love the color. I just don't like the finish. It always wears down really fast, like almost instantly, like on the inner lips. And just the feeling of it, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of torn if, if I want to get rid of this or keep it for the color. But it's going to go up for right now. And then these. These are the Tartist, or the Tart Tartist. This is the lip paint and this is the lip crayon. I'm going to be putting those up. And the Gerard Cosmetics Butter Cream. I really like this. It is like a thicker formula, but I really do like the color of this. The things that I'm going to be keeping in are the lip liners. Just because I, well this is this is the Essence and I only have one pink lip liner so that's staying in there. The Ivy Beauty in Deep Red, that's what I'm wearing with a lipstick that I'll be showing you what I added in. And I really like the combo so that's staying in. And the Milani Bordeaux lip liner just because this is my only true red. It's not even technically a true red but it's the closest I'm going to get to a true red in my collection. So I'm going to be keeping these in there. And I'm keeping all of the pink. Everything that's pink, like the pink lip glosses and the lip crayons, I'm going to be keeping them in just because I've only used them 
once each so I want to use them some more before putting them up but so far I really like this one right here the tip broke off so it looks just like that now yeah but I really do like this and I really love this just by itself it's a very nice pretty like flush of color I really like that so yeah, I'm going to be using these a little bit more before putting them back in my collection. I'm adding in the ColourPop Lippy Stick and the Lippy Pencil. And this is in Tortoise. This was Kathleen Light's collab. And I'm just going to swatch this for you. And the lip liner is basically the same, but I'll swatch it. No, it's not. I think this is different. Oh no, that's broken a little bit. But anyways... That's the colors right there that I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to be adding in the Lorac. This was like a limited edition lipstick and this is in Sirene. And this has like never even been used so that's why I'm adding this in. And that's what that looks like. What I have on my lips today which I am absolutely loving is the Rihanna MAC Viva Glam 1 lipstick. It is so pretty and it's like a metallic-y look to it which I think I would like but I really do like so yeah and then the lip gloss for the reds is this Royal Red by Lorac and this was also a limited edition it came in like with five or six other lip glosses for the holidays and I usually um, well I usually I plan on using this with the other Lorac because it's a matte lipstick, so that's what that looks like right there. Then I'm going to be adding in this right here from Lorac, and this is the Tantalizer um, liquid or lip gloss, and this is in Marco. This has never been used, so there. Oh, that's actually very pigmented. I can wear that on its own. That's very pretty. It's right, right there. And this is not even open, so I'll, I'm not going to even open it right now, but this is the LA Girl Lip Paint in Blushing and I've had this for like the longest time but I have not used it yet so I'm going to be using that and for my lip balm I'm going to be adding in the Soap and Glory A Great Kisser and this is in Juicy Peach which I absolutely love. This is probably like my favorite thing that I have for lip balm purposes. Oh, I love that. And then this is the eye primer I'm going to be adding in. It's the Micah Beauty Eye Primer. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to be adding in like a... It's like a, not a clear eye primer, but it's the one that just, you know, goes away to... Like doesn't have a color to it. Just because I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion in my project pan. And I'm not going to add in another one because I'm going to be focusing on that. But I do need like a skin tone to add on top of that. So I'm going to be adding this in for that reason. And then just like a few updates on some of the things I'm using in my project pan. Not my project pan, my makeup drawer. This is the Avon Ideal Creamless, Ideal Flawless Cream Concealer. Sorry you guys, it's like I can't talk today. Technically it's like 5 in the morning, but you know. Um, and this is in Fair. I'm going to keep this in no matter what. I'm not going to be taking this out just because this is the only thing I use for my brows, to cover up my brows. So I'm not going to talk about this anymore, but this is just going to stay in here and it's not going to be taken out. And I'm doing really good progress on my Ulfra eyebrow pencil. It's like very little, as you can see. It's so small. Um, I just, this used to, I used to love this thing. But I guess we're now that, because this was my very first, like, eyebrow thing that I used for my brows. But now that I've used, like, the NYX and stuff, it's just, it's not that good. It's very waxy. And I have to sharpen it every single time I do my brows because it, like, wears down really, really, really fast. So yeah, I'll be glad when this is gone. And this right here, we got this in our BoxyCharm a while back ago. And this is the Pure Minerals Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner in Bali. And this is the green one. I don't like this. I mean, I love the color of the liquid liner. And I'll show you that. And it stays because it actually, um, right there. It actually stained my eyelids. But it's so hard to put on and it tugs and also like lifts up your eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow. I'm um, not your eyeshadow primer, but 
yeah so for that reason I don't like it but I, once it's on I do love the color of it and then this right here is like so hard it tugs at your eyes and it hurts so bad and I'll swatch that next to it so that's what it looks like right there next to it um, I'm going to keep it until I am done with the green in my pan that palette maybe it might go sooner I'm just gonna try to use it and see how I like it but we will see about that all right, and on to the face now. These little samples that I have that I added in last time, I'm gonna be keeping them until they're used up. This is almost used up. I ain't got that much more to go of this. This is just the Marcel Hydracy, and I've been using this like as not, not like a primer, but like a pre-primer, if that makes sense, like somewhat of a moisturizer, primer type thing. So this is almost done, and I've been working on these two, but I have not yet used this one. Things that I'm going to be taking out is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Light. I really do like this concealer actually that I've been using it. And I've been using it with my fingers because before I used it with a sponge and it was really cakey. But now that I'm using it with my finger, I really do like this. I still think I like the Maybelline a little bit better. I don't know. I don't, they're, they're basically the same thing, but... I just like that one just a little bit better. And the two foundations I'm going to be putting up is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Found Sealer. I love them both. This one I absolutely love and it's getting older so I'm going to have to use it up. But I'm just going to be putting these up for right now. The e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I really do like this. This I just started using whenever I added it in and I've had this for a while. I do like it, but I have another powder in my project pan, so for that reason, it's going to go up. The next thing being put up is the Makeup Geek and Caffeine Lights collab. I really love these. I didn't use this shade here, but I have used these two, and I really do like it. And it's just going to go up for now because I had it out for a month. As well as the My Sculpted Face, which I love. Oh my goodness, got my fingers in it. I use all the shades except for this really dark shade here. I really like this for setting underneath the eyes. This highlighter, oh my gosh. It is it's pigmented because it shows up white on my face. It's right there. And that's how it shows up on the face. So I had to blend that thing out. It's pretty, but it's very pigmented. But my favorite things are in here is this for sure and these two shades right there. Those are my favorite from here and I really do like this. I'm adding these items in and these are the NYX HD Concealer and the Avon Extra Lasting Concealer. And this one is in Fair, which is the Avon. And this one is in 03, which I think it's light. I'm not sure all the like writing is coming off. I just added these in. I don't have that many concealers, so I keep on adding in like the same ones if you've been noticing that just because I don't have that many but I'm just going to be adding this in and I'm going to be using these up so I'm not going to add another concealer until these are used up now I already have a foundation in my project pan but just in case I don't want to use that I do want to use this this is new this is the Lorac natural performance foundation this was on clearance at Ulta for $18 I think so I picked it up and I want to see how this is because if it's any good I do want to repurchase this before you know they stop selling it or it's not on sale anymore so I do want to see how this is for bronzers contours and for my under eye I'm going to be adding in this is the butter bronzer I just got this a few days ago and I had to try because this is like the rave right now so yeah I'm going to be putting this in and I've already used it and I already really like it that's what I am wearing today with which one am I wearing with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and this is in Caramel Toffee. Now this is the first time me using this. I used this for my under eye and this for my contouring, and I really, really like this. I know I liked this one. I'm adding this one in too. This one is the Dolce de Leche. I know I liked this one. I haven't used the uh, under eye, but I know I like the contouring bronzing shade in this, so I want to, to use these as well. I'm not adding any blush in just because on my one month one palette I have the special occasions palette and it has nine blushes so I'm going to be using that for my blush and not use anything else. But I want to add in the Cindy Luminizer. This 
I really love and I use I'm using that today I'm using a lot of these products um, for just adding a shimmer or shine to my blush and that's what that looks like I really love this I didn't think I would like this very much but I am in love with that and my two highlighters that I'm adding in is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is this is a new one for me, and this is in Be My Highlight. It is a very subtle highlight, but it's... I just want to use that. It's right there. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. And then I'm going to be adding in the Wet n Wild Fergie. And this is in Rose Champagne Glow. Now I'll swatch that for you as well. And that's what I'm wearing today. And it's very pretty. It's right there. I don't even know. Like I'm very pale. So I don't even know if you'll be able to see any of that. thing that I'm going to be keeping in is. Again I don't know this right here. If you know what this is called. Just let me know down there if you don't mind. But it's the blushing stick. I used this a couple times. But I do want to get a little bit more use out of this. I do like it. For you know, for what it is, I don't really use cream products, but I do like this one right here. And the thing that I'm going to be putting on the back burner for right now is the Mysteria, what is this? The Complex Complexion Corrector, and it's like you can barely see. There's hardly, hardly anything in there. Um, it's just that I have the Benefit Fake Up and my Project 60 pan, and I want to use that up before I start using this again. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I think that is it, you guys. It is. That is it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all of my bi-weekly makeup drawers or maybe my monthly makeup drawers. We will see about that. But that's it. And until next time, guys, thank you. Bye.